Maybe you've been there. You finally get the promotion at work or you just landed the job that pays significantly more than your previous one. You take a deep breath, feeling a sense of relief. Finally, you can afford to live a little, perhaps a bit too much. You might start eating out more, upgrading your wardrobe, buy a new car you've had your eye on, or even decide to move into a bigger house. It's only natural to want to enjoy the fruits of your hard work. But what you might not realize is that you've just welcomed into your life a silent thief known as lifestyle creep. And this sneaky culprit, if you're not on guard, will rob you of not just your hard-earned money, but also your long-term happiness and financial freedom. Lifestyle creep, also known as lifestyle inflation, is a phenomenon that can affect all of us, but most of us aren't even aware it's happening. It occurs when our standard of living starts to climb as our income increases, turning yesterday's luxuries into today's necessity. And it happens almost automatically if we're not paying attention. The problem isn't in the occasional splurge, it's the normalization of splurging. Slowly but surely, these little upgrades we make in life can snowball, creating an expensive way of living that you now feel obligated to maintain. The core issue here isn't just that you're spending more money, it's that you're missing out on the opportunity to save, invest, give, get ahead financially, and experience some of that relief. Money spent is money not saved for emergencies, not invested for the future, and not available for experiences or causes that might genuinely enrich your life. In a culture where we're constantly told that we deserve the best of everything, lifestyle creep can easily spiral out of control, leaving us feeling emptier than ever. If you've ever received a raise, but are left scratching your head at the end of the month wondering why you're not getting ahead financially, it's time to take intentional action against lifestyle inflation. So how do we reverse this lifestyle creep? Here are some super practical and uplifting ways to reclaim your financial life. Number one, create a budget that reflects your values. Look at where your money is going and ask yourself if it's genuinely contributing to your happiness and well-being. Cut or limit areas that aren't in alignment with your values. Number two, distinguish between wants and needs and work hard at this. Before making any purchase, big or small, Ask yourself if it's a want or a need. Prioritize needs and be more selective about fulfilling wants. Number three, save before you spend. As soon as that paycheck hits your account, move a set percentage into savings or investments before you do anything else. Make saving a non-negotiable. This is the first and most effective way to overcome lifestyle creep. Number four, embrace minimalism. Consider embracing a minimalist lifestyle where you focus more on experiences and relationships rather than material possessions. Minimalism isn't about living a sacrificial life. It's about living a bigger, more passionate life focused on the things that bring real joy, meaning, and fulfillment. Number five, keep tabs on your progress. Regularly check in on your spending habits. Are you falling back into old patterns or are you successfully holding off lifestyle creep? Number six, talk about it. Talk about money. Don't underestimate the power of community. So talk to your friends, family members, trusted mentors about your commitment to beat lifestyle inflation. Their support can be incredibly empowering. Look, no one is saying that you shouldn't enjoy your life or indulge occasionally, but being mindful of lifestyle creep helps ensure that your future self will thank you. At the end of the day, we're not what we own. Our true value lies in relationships, passions, and how we make the world a better place.